morning out again this time up at Hadrian's Wall been here several times and actually done the wall walk as I'm sure you all well know um, in the day we're doing that walk and um, seven and a half miles Hadrian's Wall and Greenlee Lau and there's a circle so we've walked along the, the bottom of that that red line quite a few times and um, but never done the circle so that's what we're planning on doing today and um, got that book for Christmas so I'm gonna work my way through all the walks especially the ones I haven't done and yeah so it's early February and um, it's quite windy well 12 degrees it's not forecast to rain but I have got my bag with my waterproof stain in that so yeah I'm gonna get out stretch the legs enjoy this one right let's go right roll that in roll. okay so we're just coming down that road there to that junction and then you follow the farm track down to Gibbs Hill, which is that farm down there. Head up towards the woods and then round the top of the woods, past that lake, and meet back up with the on the wall. I don't know if you can see that over there. The TV mast. Been up there a few times walking on the woods. I was up there just after Christmas testing out my drone. So yeah, been around this area a few times now. So we'll just continue down this farm road. Easy walking so far. And head up past the farm. So we'll just come up the hill, past the farm. And if you can see over there, on the far distance, on that ridge line, that's Hadrian's Wall. Sort of heading east that way so we're just going to continue up this track and basically a straight line in the east now until we pick up the Pennine way and then we we'll head south meet the wall and then head west back along the wall to steel rig <sighs> so we're just having to break out the breeze for the minute it's a bit breezy I've got my drone, I don't know if it's too windy to pull that up there, but we might find, um, when we get up by the woods, it might be a bit more sheltered, so we'll see. But yeah, out of day, enjoying this, getting the cobwebs blown away as they say. He's having a good time, thick and muck. The way Terry I should be, I suppose. Aren't you? Oi! <laughs> He's in his own little world, aren't you? All the smells. Right, we'll press on and we'll be back in a bit. There we go, so we've just arrived at Greenleaf Farm. You see that's Hadrian's Wall there, look. Going along that ridge. We're just following the sign on the permissive path down and round that lake. Lovely, nice day for it. He's uh, high alert because he's obviously seen the sheep. That's why it's important to keep your dogs on a lead when you're around here. Um, you know, there are working farms with animals, so respect the countryside. And always make sure you lock your gate when you walk through. Yeah, like this. Lovely, what a lovely day to be out. Right, oh yeah. We've just come down behind this wall, look. The past, literally just the other side of that wall, where it's, uh, the wind's blowing from the west. 
So we just took a bit of shelter. So we're just gonna sit here and have some lunch. Um, haven't really got much to do. I've just got a uh, army meal that Dave got us from work. So that's much appreciated. Here was quite a few. And uh, you know, as I like them when I'm out and about on a walk, get a nice hot meal. So he's just sitting there as well. So I've got a little treat for him to give him. But yeah, that's where we are. Look, just as I say, not much of a view. But a good windbreak. And uh, yeah, get some lunch and then crack on about halfway. I think I've done just over four mile. I think there's about three and a half left to do. But we'll see how that works out. I don't think I've done a walk in a book yet where the actual mileage tallies with what the book says. <laughs> I seem to divert a little bit. But hey ho, it's all part of the fun. So, right, get some lunch, get a jet boil on. And get back at it. See you in a bit. Right, you can probably see I've got my coat and my hat on. Temperature's dropped a little bit. It's a bit windier, a bit exposed, so glad I brung these layers. There's a the lake down there. And that's where we've come from. So we're the easternmost point now. And uh, we're just going to head round, head south, and pick up the wall. And then, as I said before, once we get on the wall, it's just a straight road, straight walk west by the steel rig. Um, it's very blustery here, so I don't know what the wind noise is like on the video. So, apologies if you can't hear it. <coughs> But I have got the wind slayer on, so we'll see what that's like. <coughs> and yeah, just very fresh. <laughs> yeah, now getting a bit of wind on it, so wakes wakes you up. Loving it, absolutely love this. So good for you, man. Right, let's crack on. On the walk, we've just stumbled across an old lime kiln look. That's a bit shallow down here. And that's where we've come. Don't know if you can see that farmhouse all the way over there. Right, right over there. And along them woods and down across the fields and there's Adrian's wall there so we're just going to head straight over there and you can just see the gate on the ridge line and then we'll turn right and head west okay so we've just come across there walking a bit of the Pennine way from them woods the boffy is over there, just on the edge of the woods. Been there before. And uh, yeah, so there you go, there's a bit of the wall at the top there. I'm going to go up these steps, steep steps, and head west. And uh, you know, you can see why when the Romans built this wall. They built it here on top of these ridge lines because you can imagine anyone invading from the north, from like Scotland if you like, you would see them coming from miles away. It would give you plenty of time to prepare your defences, and then by the time they got here and climbed up these bits of hill to do battle, they'd probably be that tired. <laughs> They'll be easy defeated. So, you know, having the high ground in battle, as Obi Wan Kenobi says, um, you've got a hell of an advantage. But yeah, 
Nice views, look. Do you want to get on? <laughs> Oi! Oi! You're the star of the show. Oh, that is. Right. See the views to the south there, look. Can you can see for miles, can't you? Beautiful day. It's great when you stand here. There's like no wind. <laughs> you get the top and it's like blustery wind. So, but yeah. Right, anyway. I'm chatting too much. Let's get on. Apologies for the wind noise, but I just want to take a video of these views. Look at that. No fumbling such a beautiful place. If you haven't been, get yourself up here. It's amazing. Okay. Here we are at the end. So, nine and a half thousand steps and eight and a half mile. Whoo, look at that, eh? Oh, I enjoyed that. So, definitely just want to come and do a nice walk at the wall. There's one for you. Passing no Frumson's largest lake. Right. Thanks for watching as always. And uh, smash that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. It means the world to me and him. And uh, catch you on the next one. <laughs>